Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video I'm going to be discussing quickly and briefly about a GFCI protected outlet right here. Obviously, this is the cover. It goes right over the top of it right here. And I'm going to show you the way you're supposed to wire it. First and foremost, obviously, if you don't have any electrical experience, be careful. Before you even get to this portion right here, let's go ahead and come on around. You need to locate your electrical breaker box, okay? This could be on the outside of your home. This could be be behind your apartment door apartments and condos it's always a little bit different but you want to find your big silver gray box so right over here it normally is associated with the different ones okay so these two obviously down here are my AC for my AC unit air conditioning and right here is my garage clicking this breaker off all these ones over here are clicked to the left all these ones over here click to the right if I would cut that obviously the lights above me would go off but I would just literally push it over to the left you'll hear a little click all your lights will go off but I would take it another step further and don't just trust that. Take a multimeter or a voltage tester and test your lines to make sure they're not hot, obviously, before touching them or you could electrocute yourself. So be very careful. Anyway, this is hot, so we're gonna be careful the way we look at it here. So let me get a little bit more light on the subject here. So again, this is a protected outlet. So when this outlet is bad, and that's why obviously we're doing this project because I use my electric car for this one, it kept tripping on me. And every time it tripped, you would have to push in test. And all my outlets in my my garage including my tankless water heater do not work if this outlet is not working right here so the line in the hot lines in the lines that test positive coming from the breaker box are the back ones right there you can see it line right there the white goes to the silver screw the black goes to the bronze screw back there. It is labeled hot right there, and then you have white right there. So they do have labels on the back of them there. Let's go ahead and look inside the box right here. As we can see right here, we have some lines coming in with the ground wire, some caps obviously right here, and then we have another set coming in right here. This is the line coming in from my breaker box, which is hot. These are the lines going out to my other receptacles. So these lines go in here, protect all the other receptacles. So if this one trips, none of them work. So the lines that are coming in that are hot closest to the breaker box or when you test it with a multimeter or a voltage tester obviously these ones will register and they are connected back into the line portion here white over here and black over there these receptacles you just strip the wires shove them straight in tighten the screws on the side and the ground obviously is on the bottom which is marked by a colored screw you can see right there kind of a greenish teal aqua looking one there. So again, the hot wires that are coming in are called the line wires. And then the load charge ones are the ones that are running to all the other outlets. Again, both whites go on the white side, both blacks go on the black side, but you have to connect it properly or none of your outlets will work or this one will not work if the hot wires are not connected into the line ones, etc. So after you have wired it correctly, go ahead and screw it all back in, put the face plate on, and then go over to your breaker blocks, flip it back on, and you might have to push in the test button there, and then all of your other outlets will work, including this one. But put it all back together with the face plate on before you put the breaker back on. Hopefully this has helped you save yourself a little frustration in the matters of electrical work. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more action, a lot more house projects coming your way. Just be careful. Always double check for safety purposes. You guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night, every night.